Common Sheet Metal Working Processes Laser cutting, also known as laser beam cutting or CNC laser cutting, is a thermal cutting process that is frequently used in sheet metal processing. Laser cutting can be used to cut various materials such as steel or aluminum sheets or three-dimensional bodies such as profiles and tubes. Metal bending is a process by which metal can be deformed when applying force to the subject, which causes it to bend at an angle and form the anticipated shape, which often results in it being in a V or a U shape. A press brake is a tool used in order to bend sheet metal and uses a punch and die to do this. Curling sheet metal is the process of adding a hollow, circular roll to the edge of the sheet. The curled edge provides strength to the edge and makes it safe for handling. Ironing is a sheet metal forming process that uniformly thins the workpiece in a specific area. This is a very useful process when employed in combination with deep drawing to produce a uniform wall thickness part with greater height to diameter ratio. Here is a general description of how hydroforming works with sheet metal. The process can use a punch or a die. The sheet metal blank is formed using highly pressurized liquid. When a die is being used, the sheet is exposed to the pressurized liquid or diaphragm and is pressed into the die. Creating the desired shape. Sheet metal punching is a cutting process in which material is removed from a piece of sheet metal by applying a great enough shearing force. CNC punching can be used to produce holes and cutouts of various shapes and sizes. Common Sheet Metal Design Guidelines One of the main considerations in sheet metal design is maintaining the minimum distance from extruded hole to part edge. Extruding metal is one of the most extreme pressure applications in press working and generates a lot of friction and heat. If an extruded hole is too close to the part edge, it can lead to deformation or tearing of the metal, as shown. It is recommended that the minimum distance between the extruded holes to part edge should be at least three times the thickness of the sheet. It is important to maintain distance between two extruded holes in sheet metal designs. If extruded holes are too close it can lead to metal deformation. It is recommended that the minimum distance between two extruded holes should be six times the thickness of sheet metal. Minimum center to center hole distance is maintained to avoid metal distortion, deformation and fracturing. Minimum distance between two holes center during sheet metal design should be equal to sum of hole radius plus two times the sheet thickness. The diameter of the hole and sheet metal part should not be very small. Small holes are created by piercing operation and for manufacture small holes, small sizes punches are required. Small hole size in sheet metal requires smaller size punching tool which may lead to break during the operation. For softer materials, recommended minimum hole diameter is equal to sheet thickness. Whereas for harder materials recommended minimum hole diameter is equal to 2 times of sheet thickness. Embosses are small, shallow formed projections on the surface of stamp parts. During this operation, stretching is the main deformation mode resulting in high tension. Thereby the metal is subject to excessive thinning or fracturing. Consequently, the depth of the embossed feature is restricted by the material's thickness and ability to stretch in addition to the embossed geometry. It is recommended that the maximum depth of embossment be less than or equal to three times material thickness.
Minimum bend radius requirements can vary depending on applications and material. For aerospace and space applications, the values may be higher. When the radius is less than recommended, this can cause material flow problems in soft material and fracturing in hard material. Localized necking or fracture may also occur in such cases. It is recommended that minimum inner bend radius should be at least one times material thickness. Curling sheet metal is the process of adding a hollow, circular roll to the edge of the sheet. The curled edge provides strength to the edge and makes it safe for handling. Curls are most often used to remove a sharp untreated edge and make it safe for handling. It is recommended that, the outside radius of a curl should not be smaller than two times the material thickness. A size of the hole should be at least the radius of the curl plus material thickness from the curl feature. A bend should be at least the radius of the curl plus six times the material thickness from the curl feature. Hemming is nothing but to fold the metal back on itself. In sheet metal hems are used to create folds in sheet metal in order to stiffen edges and create an edge safe to touch. Hems are most often used to remove a sharp untreated edge and make it safe for handling. Hems are commonly used to hide imperfections and provide a generally safer edge to handle. A combination of two hems can create strong, tight joints with little or minimal fastening. Hems can even be used to strategically double the thickness of metal in areas of a part which may require extra support. It is recommended that Fort Air Drop Hems the inside diameter should be equal to the material thickness. For open hem the bend will lose its roundness when the inside diameter is greater than the sheet metal thickness. For bends, the minimum distance between the inside edge of the bend and the outside of the hem should be 5 times material thickness plus bend radius plus hem radius. Notching is a shearing operation that removes a section from the outer edge of the metal strip or part. In case, distance between the notches to bend is very small then distortion of sheet metal may take place. To avoid such condition notch should be placed at appropriate distance from bend with respect to sheet thickness. Notching is a low cost process, particularly for its low tooling costs with a small range of standard punches. Recommendations for Notch Feature Notch width should not be narrower than 1.5 times thickness. Length of notches can be up to 5 times thickness. Recommended corner radius for notches should be 0.5 times thickness.